kidnapping case moved into a domestic incident and a chase from LaSalle County to Peoria. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. Amber is off. A young woman violently taken off the streets of Peru on Monday is safe tonight. Paige Blanzi saw and describes the surveillance video of that incident in tonight's top story. Neighbor surveillance camera captured it all. Police haven't released the video, but it shows someone in a white Ford pickup speeding up along 7th Street in Peru between 4 and 5 a.m. Monday. You hear a screeching stop on Plum Street just before a woman and man arguing. She runs away and then screams. That's when the, uh, the height of the physical uh, altercation took place. Police in Peru believe 27-year-old Bobby Cross grabbed his girlfriend violently and drove her back to Peoria. But police believe that's where it started too, with Cross leaving the River City upset, determined to go get his girlfriend at a late Sunday early morning gathering in Peru. Witnesses said the woman appeared to be 14 to 16 years old. However, we now know she was actually in her 20s, but looks young for her age. We treated this as the absolute worst case scenario. We were hoping for the best case scenario. Tammy Samick lives less than 50 feet away from where the woman was taken. My first thought was, are my kids safe? We kept telling ourselves it's, it's targeted, it's domestic, it's... You know, we wanted to believe that all day. She credits law enforcement for solving it quickly. To have a resolution to have the victim safe and sound in such a short order, again, I think goes to the credit to the many agencies. Bobby Cross does have a criminal history. He was arrested in 2018 for aggravated domestic battery. And the LaSalle County warrant was active for unpaid fines in that case before this alleged abduction. He is still on the run. Reporting in Peru, I'm Paige Blanzi, 25 News.